My name is Brendan Nelson and I am the director of the Australian War Memorial. I'm standing here in the cloister in front of the First World War Roll of Honour. And on these bronze panels are the names of almost 62,000 Australians who gave their lives for us almost 100 years ago. The youngest was James Martin. He was 14 years and nine months. Welcome to our Remember Me project. This will give you the opportunity to record the name and age of death where we know it of each one of them. So when visitors walk along here, they will hear your voice just saying who each one of them was and how old he or she was when they died for us. Now I'm going to ask Abby Jane Bergen from Mount Pritchard Public School in Sydney to explain it to you and how it works. And thank you for doing this. Hi, I'm Abby Jane. When my teacher first told me about Remember Me, my classmates and I were really excited. I believe it's really important for us to honour the men and women who gave their lives for our country. The app Remember Me is an interesting way for us to honour and feel connected with these people. And I'm going to show you how to use it. The first thing you need to do is visit the website and register using your school email address. They will send an information pack to you about Remember Me. Now that my teacher has logged in to Remember Me, I'm going to start by taking the tutorial to make sure we are ready to record. You're going to have to ensure that you're in a quiet place. This way, my voice can be loud and clear. The second step is to test that your microphone is working. We've plugged in a USB microphone. To know that your microphone is working, green will fill the shield. If your microphone isn't working, you'll have to talk to your classroom teacher. I followed the PDF instructions that were sent to me and read the frequently asked questions so that if there were any setup issues, I knew what to do before I brought my class to record. Now we're up to trimming the file. I'm going to grab the red line and bring that all the way to the start of the recording and get the blue line and bring it all the way to the end. But just make sure you haven't cut any pieces of the recording off. So now I'm going to play to make sure that my trimming is perfect. Arthur Ernest Kepi, age unknown. Great, got it. The last step in the tutorial is to listen to some other people's recordings to make sure that I know the speed and the volume that my recordings should be at too. Press on the play button and you'll hear some. William Edward Ludlow Hughes, age 23. So now I'm ready to start recording. There will be a soldier's name up at the top and if you can't pronounce the names that has been listed for you, you can refresh it or search any family members. So I'm going to click onto the red circle button to start recording. Jesse Humphrey, age 19. Now I'm going to click the square button to stop recording and I'm going to listen back to it. Jesse Humphrey, age 19. Now I'm going to do the trimming as I previously showed you on the tutorial. So I'm going to pull the red line all the way to the start and pull the blue line all the way to the end. Now I'm going to click play my recording. Jesse Humphrey, age 19. Perfect. Now my teacher is going to enter in my name and we are going to submit it. where it will be then sent to the War Memorial and played over the speakers. Make sure you follow the instructions, but if you have any problems, ask your teacher. So, good luck. Well, thank you, Abby. That was amazing. Even I could do that now. So, we look forward to hearing your voices as we walk along here in the Roll of Honour at the Australian War Memorial. Rupert Robert Chamley, age unknown. George. Hughes, age unknown. 